This is going to be the first update on the Vosti Nightshade in Nitro V. Yesterday I did a lot of cardboard cutting. It was a pretty heavy test. It was the backing board that came with a 75 inch TV. I put a few of them in where I work and that backing board, that cardboard was about a half inch thick. It was some pretty serious stuff. So I sliced that whole thing up. Now before doing that test, this knife would slice paper very cleanly, very nicely. Let's give it a try now. Okay, it'll still slice. I don't know if you can make it out in the camera. It's kind of frayed and it's not as clean or it's not easy to go through. It's, you can hear it, it's very noisy. Right at the back here, it wants to tear. So I think that took more, more damage than the rest of the edge. We start forward a little bit and then it'll slice. But you can see those frays. It's not clean, it's not very good. Here, the edge is still sticky, but I can tell it's lost that fine sharpness. It's on a working edge right now. I can still keep going with it and I can use this for more tasks, but right now this knife is at the point where I should resharpen it. What I'm going to do is get out my portable sharpening kit. And in here, I have some small strops. 16, 8, and 4 micron. Let's do a little bit with the 16. just feel it after 10 passes per side. That did not make very much difference at all. We'll go 15 passes. Try the other side. No. No. Okay, so this knife is past dropping. We're going to try a few passes on the diamond. This is 720 grit. Ten passes per side. Find the edge angle. See what that did. Not perfect, 
but it's getting better. I think I'm going to go ahead and just reprofile this edge and put a 15 degree per side bevel on it and then we'll do the testing again. Just a quick addendum to the video. I took the nightshade and I did 10 passes per side on the coarse side of this diamond stone. Then I did another 10 passes on the fine side and then three passes on each side. That was enough to touch it up and now the knife cleanly slices paper with 720 grit finish. I believe this one is somewhere around 360. It's about half of what this one is. So these are Smiths. They still make these. The new ones have a yellow handle and these are a great portable sharpening system. I've reprofiled a lot of knives on this coarse side and this fine side is great for putting a good toothy edge on a knife. I've had this thing for years. It's seen a lot of use and it hasn't shown any signs of giving up or wearing out. It's still going strong. I would highly recommend these Smith stones. My guess is these actually use DMT diamond stones. So that's just a little update. It only took me two or three minutes to get a good edge back on the nightshade. Now I think I could either go to a strop or I want to try ceramic. This to me feels like a steel that will respond really well to ceramic rods. Stick around for the rest of the video and I'll show you the cutting of the cardboard.